Welcome to the Angus Report, the week's top Angus stories broadcast on the web by the American Angus Association. I'm Bob Cervera. The 9.0 earthquake that shook Japan and triggered a massive tsunami March 11th killed thousands of people and sparked a nuclear crisis along the country's northeastern coast. Now, as Japan recovers, cattlemen look to export markets and what the crisis means for the U.S. beef business. Really, the challenge is there's product in the country and there's product off the shores, but distribution is really uh, struggling today. And not only is the the tsunami and the issues that have acted on the East Coast been a tremendous uh, challenge for the Japanese, but it's also the part of the country that it would be the most heavily users or consumers of beef. Uh, if, we, if you look to the U.S. Meat Export Federation, their long-term uh, prediction is that uh, we are still going to have a very strong year in Japan and that there will be a rebound. So we do think that there's good long-term, you know, even looking later into this year that we're going to see a, a very robust market for U.S. beef. One of those reasons that's very critical to beef exports and for agricultural products, let alone beef, is we have a weak dollar. And so our competitors are probably not uh, as in good position as what they were two years ago. And uh, we are still in the best position to be their beef resource. On Wednesday, reports from Japan indicated the devastation is likely the world's most expensive natural disaster. Overall costs are estimated to reach $309 billion. Since last fall, the American Angus Association has provided weekly updates to all national cattle evaluation EPDs. The capability provides the industry's most rapid and current selection tools for more reliable genetic selection decisions. But with weekly updates, how do you get the latest EPDs into the hands of buyers before the sale? An interactive menu and AAA login may be key. And we're right in the middle of sales season right now, and one of the things that with the updates that we have weekly and EPDs, one of the neat things you can do with the, the, the uh, interactive part of the uh, member login menu, you can go in and you can create an update sheet very easily. Uh, you create an animal set with your sale animals in it, and then you, once you do that, you can load, download that into an Excel spreadsheet, or there's actually a data sheet uh, option on member login. And you can go in there and you can create a set of uh, updates for your sale. Once you're, for example, if you want the updates on your new EPDs, you can select those EPDs, you can download them, or you can utilize the data sheets that's available. You can actually number those by your lot number. And it's, so it's, it's a real easy way to put an update sheet for, for your upcoming sales uh, with regard to getting updated EPDs, updated information. You can have all your updated EPDs, and you can do that in a very fast, very efficient way, really at the last moment, because that's what we all have to do when we get a sale preparation. A day or two before the sale, you've got to get those updates on a, on a supplement sheet because your catalog went out, you know, approximately three to four weeks ahead of the sale. Visit Angus.org to access AAA login and additional online tools. And finally, ranchers who use Angus Genetics are committed to producing quality calves. Mark McCulley of Certified Angus Beef explains how to get the most out of that genetic investment. As we know, you could produce the best product in the world if you just sell it out there as a commodity, as a generic, and you're not going to get paid what that product is worth. So, so I think the, the producer has to adopt that mindset as a value-added marketer. And, and so think about some of those things that add value. Uh, age and source verification uh, is a real easy one out there, to be real honest uh, today, that there's some very real premiums, some feedlots that are looking for those cattle that, that have the age and the source documented on them to go into some export markets. And so enrolling those in the Angus Source program, for example, or the Gateway program to where we can document the age and source and, and get those cattle uh, in that kind of a program is a, is a, is a real logical step to, to add value. You know, after that, I think, uh, you know, I, I would always encourage cow-calf producers to, to forge some relationships with, with feedlots. Feedlots are looking for that, and it's, I think it's a very different uh, environment out there today than, than maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. Visit Angus.org for more information about Angus Source or CABPartners.com to learn more about supplying the brand. That's all for this Angus Report. Join us next week when we provide the American Angus Association's latest news and information. Until then, visit our website, Facebook, or Twitter pages for articles, videos, and more information. Thanks for joining us. 
We've been using Cattlemail USA since 2002, and we've been really pleased with the response that we've gotten from all of the Cattlemail web blasts. It's really worked out well for us. The email blast that Dan set up for us this, this time was unbelievable. It was, it was a real good success. I mean, I've never got more response. And as fast-paced as this world is, this web-based deal is where it's at. I would never go through a sale without using Cattle Mail USA. Through Cattle Mail USA, we've sold cattle uh, coast to coast. As times progress, you know, we're all going to have to use technology to our advantage.